Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, Independent Scentsy Consultant here. Um, welcome back to my channel. And I did get a little box in the mail, so I thought that I would open it with you. Pretty sure it's the Easter stuff. So let's dig in and see what we got here. Oh, and I forgot I got some other things here. <laughs> so this will be fun, okay. So it is mostly the Easter. Okay. So the first thing that I got from the Easter set was the sugared strawberry um, scent pods. And, ooh, that's really good. Ooh, I'm excited to try the wax now. It's one of the wax bars I haven't tried yet. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Love, love, love that. So that's very exciting. Um, and I also got from the Easter collection the Berry Bright um, diffuser pods. And I love Berry Bright. Um, oh, it's so good. Oh, so fresh and fruity. Um, like a blue raspberry kind of cotton candy kind of. Like a fruity, like a blue Hawaiian fruity drink is what that reminds me of. So that's fantastic. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I threw some wax bars in here. Okay. Wow. So this is going to be fun. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So um, this is, okay. So these are, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot about these. Oops, no, nope, not that one. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got more Easter stuffing tight. <laughs> um, I'm just so excited. Oh, I can't wait to smell some of these. Okay, so um, I also got um, the, the three pack of wax bars, but we'll smell those next in just a second. But I also got, sorry, I get excited. <laughs> so I get ahead of myself, but I got the mini fan diffuser in yellow. Um, probably most people won't get yellow. I'm just one of those people that love yellow. So, um, so I had to have yellow. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. So here's the yellow one. Oh, I love the yellow. Now that'll probably be my prediction. Because most people are like yellow. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. But um, so it'll probably be the last one to sell out, but um I'm super excited. <laughs> and I actually have my um oh I have my laptop here, but um or my laptop. I don't have a laptop, sorry. My iPad. <laughs> It's on a wireless keyboard, so it reminds me of a laptop. Um, but, well, the battery might be good enough, I think, right? So we should be able to get this to work. Let's plug it in here for giggles. <laughs> See? Oh, oh, that's right, I need an adapter, crap. Okay, so I can't plug it into my iPad because it um, goes with the USB port here, so. Um, and I don't have the adapter handy, so shoot, but I'm very excited about these. Um, so there's the pretty yellow one that you probably won't see that much of. <laughs> so I like yellow. <laughs> so then I got the three pack of wax bars and I've never, ever, 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 ever smelled these. So I'm super excited and let's go with jumping jelly bean first. And I don't want to use, because right now the Disney Moana and stuff is going on. So I don't want to like um, open up my laptop and, or my laptop, I keep saying that. It's it's seriously an iPad, you guys. <laughs> it's literally an iPad. <laughs> so I don't know why I keep calling it a laptop, but it's an iPad. So, um, but yeah, so I don't want to get the scent notes, but um, basically I think it's like apple pear. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know what else is in it. Um, jumping jelly bean. It does kind of remind me of the pear jelly belly. I can smell the pear. 
I smell something like fresh apple and maybe lemon. Is there a candy note too? It's really sweet. Um, oh, it does. It, oh, jelly, the pear jelly bellies are my absolute favorite juicy pear. So it does remind me of that. And I love like how pale that wax is. Almost like Jack's Obsession a little bit, but Jack's Obsession is a little bit brighter. Okay, and then let's go with Banana Berry next. That's like fun. <laughs> so um, I think this one is like banana pudding and like strawberries or sugar strawberries, something like that. Ooh, ooh, that's really good. Um, ooh, I do smell the um, banana pudding. Oh, and these are cold because it's still chilly here in PA. Um, but it does, it reminds me of banana pudding. I'm getting that stronger than berry. Oh, like this one's pretty strong. And I think it's like the citrus and stuff. This one's a little bit lighter, but it's so yummy. Oh my goodness. Oh, they, they nailed the banana pudding part. <laughs> I can totally smell the banana pudding more than anything. Oh, that's glorious. I'm glad I put these all in my Scentsy Club. <laughs> um, and then the next one is Toasted Marshmallow. I'm really excited about this one. All right, so. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I would love that in body care. Um... Oh gosh. So it's almost kind of got, so it's got that vanilla, that almost like warm vanilla sugar smell, which I'm assuming is the marshmallow. And then it's almost got like a sandalwood vibe to the toasted part. Like maybe slightly like a sweet wood, like cedar or something. But it's so faint. Oh, and it comes off smelling like perfume. So it's like a perfumey, warm vanilla sugar. Oh my heavens, that's fantastic. Oh, that is so good. And this one smells a little lighter too, but oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh. I do miss from Bath and Body Works, but they're a sister company of Victoria's Secret. And I'm allergic to their stuff. I break out in hives, so I can't even use their body care. And I miss warm vanilla sugar, um, like lotion and stuff. So Scentsy, not that you watch me on YouTube, <laughs> but um, I would love this scent in body care. Oh my gosh, would I love you for like, oh. That was my favorite Bath and Body Works. And then, of course, with Victoria's Secret. Like I said, their sister company is Victoria's Secret. is love spell, like y'all know, if you've been watching me. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, so I have more wax. Um, first, I'm going to go with the stuff from the clearance stuff. So, um, there is still stuff. There's still stuff I want, but there is still stuff in there. Um, so, I got the blueberry cheesecake pods um, to see what these would be like. Ooh, so good. It's like authentic, you know, cheesecake, like blueberry cheesecake. You definitely get that blueberry compote, but that like cheesecake note. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm glad I got that. I'm surprised they're not in the pods anymore because that's fantastic. <laughs> and then I got another bar of vanilla oud. Um, I did like this one. It's not in my club. Um, I tried to be picky. But it, it is, it's like a vanilla, it's not like toasted marshmallow, like that's more perfumey. Um, this almost has like a, like this is slightly manly, but it's like a very rich, um, per, like cologne type vanilla. I, this one's a, a, like more wood than perfume. Oh, this is so good though. It's like a rich, warm vanilla in like the wood note. It's so good. 
I do, I do like vanilla oud. So, um, I got another one of those and then I also got peppermint dreams. And I'm pretty sure last time I checked, I haven't checked today. These two are still in there in the clearance section, but, um, so peppermint dreams is just like a girl scout thin mint to me or a peppermint patty. Um, more like a girl scout thin mint. Um, I mean, it's, it's got that like very fresh, very bright, um, peppermint. So if you don't like peppermint, you wouldn't like this, but I love it. It's like that cool sensation, like your peppermint patty always says, but then I get that dark chocolate note. Um, so it's, it's literally like a Girl Scout Thin Mint. Oh, it's so good. Or like a York peppermint patty. I don't think the chocolate's as sharp. Um, so I had to get another bar of that. That's also not in my club. Um, but so I got some more wax. Let's see. So I got two six packs. Um, so the first one that I got is going to be Pina Colada Cha Cha. And I have had this in a scent pack for my daughter. I just love the pineapples on there, guys. That's so cute. The pineapples on it's showing up is so cute. Um, so when I got my daughter, Wellington the Duck, I guess his name is, when we were voting on Bring Back My Buddy, um, that's the one that I got her. And she loves pina colada, so I got pina colada cha-cha, which doesn't smell anymore. It was like, oh, gush. Gush. Oh, gush. Oh, gosh. Um, like, at least, like, 10 years ago. <laughs> um... And I, but I did get the scent pack in pina colada. Oh my gosh. And it is, it's like authentic pina colada. It's like the pineapple, the coconut. Oh my gosh. It's so good. And it's like that creamy coconut. There's definitely, if you're thinking like an alcoholic drink, there's no alcoholic like rum note. Um, although... <laughs> Um, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if it had, um, like artificial rum flavor in it, but, um, no, it's just like the, the creamy coconut in the pineapple. Oh, it's so good. I love pina colada. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Fantastic. I can't wait to melt that. Um, and then I got go, go mango. Um, a lot of people say that this is not a great performer, but I had such excellent performance out of Iridescent Pearl that nobody else seems to have. So I'm thinking it's a combination of the type of warmers and the number of warmers plus the size of my rooms that seem to make it work okay. So I wanted to give this one a shot and see how well it does for me. Um, oh, it's really good. I like Go Go Mango. I did have this in the bathroom cleaner. It came in one of, I think it was my shooting star kit. Oh my gosh. And I love it in the bathroom cleaner. I'm actually almost used up the bathroom cleaner. It's really good. Love Go Go Mango. Um, and then, oh gosh, what do I try next? Let's try Mocha Doodle. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so excited, Mocha Doodle, okay. Oh, that's almost like Central Park pralines, almost. Um, I smell the chocolate. Um, to me, it's almost like a nutty, like a warm nutty, like Central Park pralines. Um, I don't smell coffee really. Um, it comes off like chocolate covered Central Park pralines. <laughs> um, I like it though, but I don't mind chocolate scents, so I like it, but it is, it's like warm and nutty to me. Mocha doodle. Hmm. I don't know, it has coffee beans on it, but I'm not smelling the coffee so much. Maybe when it melts. Um... So then, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so then I got, let's do lilacs and violets. That one pretty much describes itself as cute packaging. Um, my grandparents was growing up, had a lilac bush, so I'm a huge fan. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, it reminds me of their lilac bush. It's so pretty. Oh, it reminds me of their lilac bush. That's fantastic. 
Oh, it's so pretty. And I can maybe smell that little bit of violet um, that changes the lilac slightly, but it's predominantly, if, if you're familiar with a lilac bush, that's exactly what that's like. That's fantastic. I love that. Um, but I guess I like old lady floral. <laughs> so funny. All right. And then the next one is going to be um, Lush Gardenia. And I do. I love Gardenia because it reminds me of my grandma, but I think it's, I think it's beautiful and sophisticated. I have, um, this almost kind of reminds me of Ylang Ylang oil, essential oil, but it is, it's Gardenia. It's gorgeous. I would totally wear that in body care. Oh, I guess I'd smell like an old lady. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it smells old lady. I think it's beautiful and sophisticated. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. And to me, it reminds me of Ylang Ylang essential oil that they put in perfume. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Oh. All right, so I love that. <laughs> mm. Okay, but I, I can see how that can come off like old lady to some people, but I adore it. Um, so since we're on the floral, let's go with Strawberry Rose. Oop, this one's a little broken. <laughs> oh, well, that's interesting. Um, and these are cold, so. Um, hmm. Maybe when these warm up a little bit more. Um, so it's kind of like a, a fake strawberry smell to me, not like re real strawberries. Um, and I haven't yet tried sugared strawberry, but um, compared to this, I don't know, maybe this is, this is like sweet candy. I don't know. Um, I think because it's cold, it's got kind of a nutty. <laughs> I don't really smell the, this reminds me of strawberry bubble yum, like strawberry bubble gum, which I don't like strawberry bubble gum. So it's definitely got that straw, that weird strawberry artificial smell to me. I'm not really picking up the rose, you guys. Um, but it may just be because these are so cold. Um, it's coming off like that big strawberry bubble gum and then nuts. <laughs> How weird is that? I don't know. Well, I'll leave this one cure and hopefully the rose will come out because I like rose, but um, interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure it might be because it's cold that I'm just like, huh? Hmm. Okay, so the next one is going to be Mahalo Coconut. That's so cute. We say it's like Hawaiian Lei and Coconut, something like that. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, that's a very perfumey coconut. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's got to be Hawaiian Lei and Coconut. It's not like a strong coconut, it's more perfumey. Um, it, it's like the female version of Coastal Sunset. Except Coastal Sunset's a lot more coconut heavy. Like this is like a soft coconut and perfume. So um, it's beautiful though, cause it's, it's lighter. I'm gonna say you have to like floral to like this, but it's like a sweet floral. But of course, I think Lush Gardenia is too, so whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's beautiful. The coconut like mellows out the floral though. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, so I really like Mahalo Coconut. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, and let's see. Um, I know what watermelon tangerine <laughs> smells like, so let's try this one. I have this in, is that the Scentsy Hand Cream? I think that we got in the Whip Box. Um, so, yep, smells like the body load, the body care. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 
you get the watermelon, like a candy watermelon. And then you get like, um, like the sweet tangerine, like the sweet citrus kind of tangerine freshens and brightens it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, slightly perfumey, but mostly like fruity. Oh, it's, it's really good. Um, it's gorgeous. I love watermelon tangerine. That's a great one. Um, and then let's try rainbow sherbet or sherbet, whatever. I see sherbet <laughs> and, oh, you guys, I'm so weird. This is my favorite ice cream. So <laughs> I guess I never grew up. I don't know what that is, but I gravitate towards the juvenile. This is authentic. This is like rainbow sherbet that you put in punch. It's got that effervescent note to it. But to me, it's just like when you eat rainbow sherbet. So when we go get ice cream, I get rainbow sherbet. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it must be the lime. I think it's lime in here that's bringing that like effervescent zest. Ooh, it's making my mouth water. Like I want rainbow sherbet so bad right now. But it does, it's like fruit punch with 7-Up and rainbow sherbet punch. It's amazing, but to me, it's authentic to the, to the well, I call it ice cream. It's not really, it's like a sherbet sorbet. Oh my gosh. You guys, that's so good. <laughs> nice and strong too. So that's rainbow sherbet, love that. So the next one's gonna be summer holiday. And let's see what this one's like. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that has like a woodsy note. What are the notes in this? I realized I have my catalog sitting there. Um, summer holiday. Oh no, it's floral. Um, yeah. So it's got plumeria, tiger lily, orange, vanilla, and amber. I definitely smell the amber. I can smell the orange. Um, I'm gonna say the vanilla softens it a little, but it would be hard for me to pick out specifically which tiger lilies around here don't smell, but because I have some on the side of my porch. Um, must be the plumeria. It does kind of smell like fruity pretty floral, like body care, like something you would buy from Bath and Body Works, but it's like really fresh, fruity floral. Oh my gosh. It's really good. I like it a lot. Oh, I'd wear that in body care too. It's really good. Okay. So that's fun. Summer holiday. Um, and then see the next one is now in Zen. I think this one's fresh. Yeah, grapefruit chamomile. Oh, yes, I have this hand cream that I got, I think from a whip box or maybe. Yes, this is very fresh, um, almost laundry. But I can get like that soothing, calming chamomile, but it's brightened up by the grapefruit. It's not like a harsh, bitter grapefruit. It like sweetens it up. It like freshens and brightens it, but the chamomile is like soft and soothing. Ooh, I like that. I think that would make great laundry product. Scentsy, like that's very fresh. I smell it more in the wax than I do the hand cream because I do, I literally, I have a hand cream. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's beautiful. Yum. Um, it smells like summer, like outdoor air. It's beautiful. Um, I like that the wax bar smells more than the hand cream because the hand cream didn't smell that much. Um, and then the last one that I got was My Hero. Um, cool citrus, white birch, and crisp air.
Um, this, okay, so I know when I talked about the testers, I remember saying this. This smells like a cologne that my dentist, and I adored my dentist, that my dentist would wear. Um, but it also smells, you guys, like zest soap. Um, but it's beautiful. So it's like a guy just took a shower with zest soap and then put on like this high-end cologne. Oh, it's really good. Um, so it's like, it's like fresh and clean. I, I'm dead serious, like zest soap from the store which I'm actually allergic to the tallow in that. That's run, run it's boiled animal carcasses. It's a filler. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> but it, it gives me welts and stuff. Like I'm allergic to soap. That's why I use Perfectly Posh. But I love Scentsy, um, like, um, we don't have soap, but we have like body wash. I love that stuff. It's, it's just like perfect, Perfectly Posh. I don't break out. Ah, oh, it smells just like my dentist. Um, ever since I was a little, little, little girl, he took care of me. Um, through when I had my daughter, I was like in my early 20s. And then he had a brain tumor and then it got better. And then um, it came back. I um, can't remember if I'd had my son yet or not. I don't think so. But he passed away from, yeah, I don't think Eric was born yet. Because there's seven years in between my kids. Um, he passed away from the brain tumor. And ugh, when you have a good dentist, like a dentist that does a root canal, it doesn't feel any different than having um, a cavity filled. Um, it didn't hurt, nothing. Like, he was like, okay, we did a root canal. And I was like, okay. Like, it didn't, ugh, it was, he was the best dentist ever. Um, it's so hard to find a good dentist after that. Um, I went to a couple dentists after that and had horrible, <laughs> nice people, such nice people, but they're not, it's like they're too old and shouldn't be dentists anymore because they would do root canals. And when I went to the dentist I have now, it took me a while. <laughs> Ugh. The one dentist pulled an impacted tooth and he shouldn't have. It should have, everybody always tried to send me to an oral surgeon. He pulled it, my face swelled up. Um, and then um, they would put the metal rods like down in the roots. Um, and I think doctor, my dentist only did one. Um, when I was littler, littler, like a teenager, high school. Um, but it wasn't those ones. Like I, I just, I know which ones he did and that it, they, you know, the newer dentist did. Um, but they, and so one, they, one, the one dentist left open. <laughs> Don't know why I kept putting a temporary filling in it. It would fall out cause it was temporary. Um, and then they got infected to the bone and that was awful. <laughs> and I finally just had to go see another dentist and there were six root canals that were bad, bad, like hurt. And root canals shouldn't hurt because there's no nerve, but it got into the bone. Um, the infection that was trying to, like I kept having a fever all the time. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> but um yeah it was terrible but I got that all fixed thank goodness but my new dentist is fantastic but it's just it's sorry it's the scent memory but when you have a really great dentist it's so hard to find another good one and luckily I did I have to drive 45 minutes to get to their office but oh yeah they're in New York State and I'm in Pennsylvania but I live right close to the border. So yeah, my hero is fantastic. Um, it smells like zest, soap, and like nice cologne. And then nice men's cologne, but not like overwhelming. But it's fresh and clean like that soap. It is fantastic. So I do. I like my hero. 
Um, I think sheer leather, leather is still my favorite because it reminds me of Abercrombie and Fitch, but I think I'm going to love this obvious because I rambled on way too much about that. <laughs> so that is my, um, my haul. And tomorrow I should get my huge Scentsy Club, you guys. It's huge, um, huge. <laughs> but there's the Finding Find Your Happy Wax collection there in there that I've never tried. Some Disney um, licensed products that I've never, ever tried. Um, so I'm excited to get that and to see if I can trim that down at all. Because <laughs> now I added the jelly bean and I'm going to add Moana today. So, um, oh my gosh. So... Everyone have a fantastic day. I'll be back tomorrow for a much longer video because <laughs> it'll take me a while to get through all of those bars. There's like over 40. So um, like and subscribe if you like the content and everyone have a fantastic day. Bye.